Hi, this is Victor Indrino again. Uh, let me show you now something very new, something that I have hadn't I, I hadn't um, revealed before, which is a smart lock uh, door lock. Um, this is the Tessa with SA Abloy. It promises to open the door with a smartphone app, with um, a remote control, even with a key if you want, and it works with a battery inside that can be uh, rechargeable. It has different accessories if you want like uh, an additional remote control portable charger and this keypad that you just uh, input or enter your combination your number combination and will be opened uh, automatically and then not only with uh, the keypad but also with uh, your fingerprint okay it can memorize up to 20 uh, fingerprints or 20 pin codes or whatever uh, in this case these are uh, optional accessories not included in this package the package includes obviously the smartphone app the main unit, the core unit, that will be attached to the inner part of uh, the indoor part of your door. Okay, the outside will uh, remain as a normal key lock. And then this integrates uh, one remote control and also I hope uh, that I will find a couple of keys at least. Okay, there's also the charger. This is These are my measures of the cylinder, the inner cylinder for the door. And the lock looks like this. Let's open it. Here's what we see. It's a complete book with the instructions. Here we find nothing. I don't know what's supposed to be in here. In here. Here are... Okay. Here's the charger, it's 12 volt. If you connect this to a smartphone, you will uh, smash, you will burn your smartphone, okay? Be used with enter products only. This is the remote control, which is uh, smaller than I thought, good for you. <clears throat> and here's the core unit with <laughs> with a magnet and a couple of keys. They are security keys, okay? It's a security lock. It's not, it's not, a, it, this is not a toy. This is a security lock made by Tessa and uh, it will protect very safely your home, okay? Looks like this. This is my hand and this is how it looks like. So we will test it for a few days and now we'll try to show you how to install it because it's nice also to see how easily it can be installed in your house. Well, after a month of use, let me tell you that I'm very, very happy with this smart lock because uh, it gives you some features that I didn't expect and, and that I like very much. For instance, the lock uh, closes itself with two turns. It does it automatically. I find it very useful because this way I always have my door locked when I go away and when I get home uh, I open the door and when I close it it locks itself and I find this very useful. Uh, it also uh, beeps whenever it stays uh, open for more than 15 seconds which is uh, another feature that I like. You can open it with uh, the smartphone app. You see here you can open it manually with the handle, with the round handle that, that you have here. You can open with the smart remote control, which is the best one I've ever tried. And uh, I don't know. Oh, you can open open the, this door in a way that it doesn't say here that if you slide your fingers f from here to here downwards on the sides of the of the unit it opens it itself and if you slide the, your fingers upwards it closes it it, it locks the door uh, I love it because this is the way I, I open my door when I'm indoor and I need to go out 
I don't use uh, anything, any button, any remote control or, or anything, just slide my fingers downwards and um, I can open perfectly. And it's reliable, it's reliable although you must know it because in the first days I didn't know some things that it doesn't say in the instructions or at least I didn't remember that for instance you can open with your key if you open with your key uh, from outside, obviously from inside there's no keyhole. Uh, if you open from outside and you open with your key, it uh, turns into manual mode. And when you close the door, it doesn't lock itself. You must set it into automatic uh, mode as well. And how do you do it? Just slide your fingers upwards, touching the sides of the unit, and it locks itself uh, again and it turns into automatic mode again. It is a perfect demotic solution for everyone, for every house. Uh, the price is about $300 or euros. It's not cheap, but it gives you a very good service. And also in Spain, I don't know uh, in Europe or in America, in Spain is um, from TESA. Asa Abloy is this unit that makes the lock smart and the lock is a, a Tesla lock. Tesla is one of the most famous brands in Spain in terms of locks. So it's a reliable brand as well as Asa Abloy, which is a Scandinavian uh, brand that I, I didn't personally know, but now I get to know it and I like it. The smartphone app is something else. It's like an apart chapter that I have to uh, explain. I think it needs many improvements because uh, it doesn't give you instructions on what the invited person must do when it receives a virtual key. So I have to explain and I have to try an error uh, again, try and fail until I get to know how it works. It doesn't have an activity log like uh, when when one has come in, when one has come out, um, when uh, this door has been opened or, or locked or, or whatever and who did it. It would be very, very interesting. I wish uh, it could be opened remotely as it doesn't have Wi-Fi connection and I can't connect it to my router. I wish I had it, but but it's only Bluetooth. But for next generations of smart lock, I wish it had a uh, Wi-Fi connection. I wish I could uh, open it remotely. This way, if I had remote opening, I could connect to it from uh, whenever I am, wherever I am in the world and open it. Uh, okay, it's a, it's a risk, it's a safety risk, but I wish I, wish I could have the chance to assume this risk. Uh, so please give me Wi-Fi connectivity and I will decide myself if I apply it or not. In terms of design, I wish it could have a better design because this way it's all plastic. It's all plastic in the outside, so it looks cheaper than it actually is. And it's a very good quality product, but if you cover it with plastic, it looks like it's a, a cheap product. I wish I could per, uh, customize it. If I have wooden doors, it's not the same as if I have metal doors uh, for my office, for instance, or if I have uh, white doors or brown doors or whatever. I wish I could uh, customize it a little bit more. Uh, apart from it, outside from this, I give it a 8 or 9 out of 10 because I'm greatly surprised with it uh, and I'm very happy with uh, this Asa Abloy Smart Door Lock. So that's all. If you like this video, please hit like or subscribe and I will be very thankful to you. Thank you.